Get in, nerds. We're playing Victoria 3. We're going to do some vassal management, first of all, because I keep forgetting to do this consolidation thing in Canada. So, first things first. Confederate Canada. Come on. And that's Lower Canada and the Hudson Bay Company. And that should be the end of Canada being multiple countries. Um, we actually, though, apparently still... Oh, the United Tribes. I think. I think the United Tribes is our... Our protectorate, yes. So, we still have one option with Australia. Let's go ahead and hit that button. And that's the United Tribes. So that makes Australia and the United Tribes one country. And that makes them a fully uh, incorporated country. We should get the Canada um, pop-up in a moment here. I also want to go ahead and reduce the autonomy of Oman. Accept. And I'm going to do the same with Texas. Why can't I reduce their autonomy? Probably because I'm in the middle of another interaction. And I'm set. Confederate Canada complete. Canadian Confederation. The unification of Canada is complete. The various colonial governments have been integrated into one under the administration of Quebec and with the enthusiastic approval of Great Britain. The dream of a united Canada has been achieved from humble beginnings as a small colony in the vast unknown north. The settlers have grown and adapted. They have become a people. They have forged a nation. The true north, strong and free. That's very good. All right, Texas. You use autonomy, they will accept and burn. Come land. Texas accepts demands. So we'll see some nice British red over in the west pretty soon, I should think. Next thing, we're going to go on and grab some territory in Sokoto so that we can finish gobbling that country up. We turn them into a protectorate, it's too much. But if we grab Hausaland, it'll be all of our remaining infamy. But that's fine. Diplomatic tour. The ruling intelligentsia, led by the charismatic Fergus O'Connor, have initiated a great promotional tour. The decision to focus efforts domestically or internationally has been left to the last minute, however, and it's unclear if the intelligentsia will do more for itself or for the country as a whole. Nothing wrong with a, self, a little self-promotion if it's for a good cause. And how would you determine the character of the cause? By how it ripens your purse? <laughs> but by its very nature. Why, a cause of ragamuffins might have a healthy effect on the state of the heart if, it, if it's on the state if its heart is in the right place. They should drum support for the intelligentsia. They should drum support for Great Britain as a whole. Let's go with Great Britain as a whole, because that'll get us some extra influence at a time when we really need uh, uh, infamy mitigation. Because we're going to go after some states we really want. Um, in particular, yeah, we're going to go after House and Island. That's turned into a uh, diplomatic play here. So what have they got? They got they got actually a pretty a pretty large army, but not that good a one. Um, so I'm gonna grab some of my more serious armies, Army of the West Indies, I'm gonna throw in, and the Army of Ireland. And we're also gonna pull in the Army of the Mediterranean just to make sure that we're not we don't get. Caught off guard here. I, I don't think it'll be that much of an issue, but um, Miss Quito Capitalist Revolts will grab the Army of Australia to go ahead and deal with that. San Marco supports Italian unification. That could be really interesting if San Marco, if Italy unifies right away. Oh my gosh, San Marco won! They won their war. They're going to be... Oh my gosh, that is wild. So, we just got a hold of... Oh my goodness, what is with our production methods? Oh, right. Because we... We can reset production methods in Uganda again. Alright, so. Uh, we just got a hold of that thing. Ooh, we can get baking powder. That's wonderful. Of dynamite. We're ready to go with dynamite. So that's going to increase our iron mines. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll do the same with coal, lead, 
sulfur. Continue with that. I forgot I had halted some of those expansions. Uh, so that has really helped out with our overall coal situation. Uh, in fact, coal is... Where's coal? Where's it? Here we go. Coal's pretty affordable right now. Uh, we have a Japanese rebellion, rebellion brewing. That is wild. Things are, uh, things are really rough here, huh? Probably, uh, probably should have, uh, built up a little bit more industry and jobs here, huh? Yeah, things are, things are going pretty, uh, going pretty bad overall over there. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll be more than able to deal with that. Um, provided Japan doesn't step in. Uh, Greece wants a defensive pact. Sure. Brazil's still in our market. Very good. We got two armies on the way to the Timbuktu front. Don't we? Oh, cripes. We're having this thing again. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, I wish that hadn't happened. Because um, the enemies put all their troops over there, and we're going to have this... Prisoner of Hanover, I accept. We're going to have this whole situation over here. Anyway, I'm hoping that goes fine. Uh, restricted Child Labor is ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and mobilize the Army of the Cave of Good Hope so that we can have that ready to go when the time comes for us to uh, use it to invade Japan. Yes, yes. I know everyone's declaring neutrality in our many and various diplomatic plays. There's our Sokoto. And there's our diplomatic play with uh, the Japanese secession. Sideways Japan. Because the, the flag they're using is just the, the, the regular Japanese flag sideways. Kantaro Matsudaira versus, uh, versus Japan. It has the same flag, but the other way. There's the colonization of the Rift Valley completed. Very good. We're still building up a bunch of wood. I'm not necessarily concerned about all these trade routes. I think they'll be good to go in fairly short order. I should get a hold of Dahomey, Oyo, and Benin next, because I think part of what's happening with this whole situation is that I think this front is kind of not set up properly. I should also try and grab this, uh, this bit here from uh, Denmark again. Uh, I, I say again. I should try to grab that bit there from Denmark. Probably didn't need to mobilize the additional army. I wasn't thinking about how fast the Mosquito Kingdom thing would sort itself out. But that's okay. Yeah, I know, but I can't... That's, that's not on me, Victoria 3. The armies don't go there. Okay, they're moving... They're moving their other army over here, so hopefully we'll be able to punch through that without a problem. Do they have war support protection? They do, but not for much longer, because we have a very good, solid uh, overage on strength over here on this front. This battle happened. Mm -hmm. 
that's a success. Uh, this East House Limb. Where's their capital? Oh, Hasseland is their capital. Somehow I didn't... Oh, you know what? Because I'd already grabbed Outer Hasseland. So that's restricted child labor. I'm going to go ahead and increase education right away here. Um, and I think next we're going to throw down a bunch more government admins here in Ireland where we've got labor. And what that's going to do for us, how are we doing with wood? Wood is still expensive, but getting better. So I don't need to build up all of these. I'm going to move these government admins up to the top. And with the Japanese uprising, very good. So let's go ahead and get the Army of the Cape of Good Hope invading them. And that'll take some time, but it'll sort itself out in good order. Oh, I want migration controls. It's okay, much fewer people care about that than what we're currently doing, so... Shouldn't be a problem. And that's uh, Sokoto fully conquered. 13.55 per week is how much their war support's going down. So that shouldn't be more than a few more weeks. How's our infamy at? 20.4. Could be better, could be worse. The enemy does have two battalions of armies here. Let's take a look at their barracks. They're using skirmish infantry, but we're going to be outnumbering them. I'm hoping that's enough. Trisha states is in default, but honestly that doesn't really affect my overall situation. Perfect. Nearly there. That's Sakoto. If this doesn't work, I'll invade with a more serious army. My war sport seems to be going down significantly, but it's not that much. The Rise of Radicalism. Under the leadership of Fergus O'Connor, the radical movement is becoming very widespread in Great Britain. Whether we support or oppose them, this heralds a time of great change and reaction. The people of the British nation have a right to rule themselves, free from the clutches of kings and aristocrats who hoard hereditary power. We have made our demands clear. They will be met, or we shall take to the streets. We will win our freedom with the blood of martyrs if we have to. I can support the conservative establishment, or I can support the radical movement. I'm going to support the conservative establishment. For now. So this is the springtime of the people's event. So we have how many radicals right now? Just one. So... We can't exile them while the Chartists are part of the government. So, to complete a reactionary victory, we need to have every group be either marginalized or not have a radical in charge. So actually, if I just do a little bit of chicanery here, I can boot him out straight away and that'll be the end of it. So let's do it. Fergus, you're out. Agitate elsewhere. That's for exile and agitator with 100 popularity. And that should end the springtime of the people's uh, government uh, event chain before it even gets going, which is wonderful. This, of course, pissed off my intelligentsia and created a bunch of radicals, but... And there's... Outer, uh, there's Houseland claimed. So I seem to have achieved a reactionary victory. Oh, we need to be at peace to end it. All right. 
Well, we need to finish out our invasion of the Japanese Rebellion, and then we'll get started here. So that gives us 26% learning progress. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to um, assist, assist Mexico this time around because this event can get really gnarly if you let it go for too long. And I, I really want to get this war done with so that I can get this event chain finished. So. There's that. Yeah, I'm going to need to press them till the end. A radical expansion. The idea is the Chartist Party have been raising interest throughout the country, leading to potential turmoil. Those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation are people who want crops without plowing the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. They want the ocean without the roar of its many waters. And they should expand even further. This makes more pox radical. It gives them momentum, or they're compromising the unity of Great Britain. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the second one, unfortunately, because uh, I can't have more Radical Pops right now. So, sorry, Mexico. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll take a swing at the United States eventually, but for now i got to get this uh, Japanese secession completed before everything gets ridiculous. Um, that said, we have made a lot of progress with our, um, we have made a lot of progress with our, uh, expansion of the government, so let's go ahead and get some of these institutions. No, we're not increasing institutions, we're incorporating Ireland. Go, go, there we go. Alright, now all of Ireland is set to incorporate. So let's go ahead and get some institutions increasing. I want another level of law enforcement and another level of medical to get started, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> At least I can, engage in, I can engage in some economic warfare. I'm just selling guns to uh, guns, ammo, and artillery to Mexico, and buying them from the United States. All right. All right. The springtime of the peoples has been completed, uh, and these should go away in a minute. France wants Senegal in exchange. No. They want Volta in exchange for Senegal. No. The Revolution Vanquished. The effort of a liberal re revolution led by radical leaders in Great Britain has been suppressed by the powers that be, reasserting their power and pushing the radicals into obscurity. There have always been efforts by the lower and middle classes to seize power, but they rarely manage to hold on to it once they have it. It is fortunate that this attempt has been brief and fruitless, or untold damage could have been done to the traditions and social order of the British Empire. Victoria at Hanover will rule firmly, but just the 25th of Genesee. Oh, that's really good. Or the people will not be swept up in such rabble-rousing. 10% of pops become more loyal. Okay, so, if we get 20 to 5 legitimacy, that would get us to 95, and that would get us ticking legitimacy. And I think that's better overall than a bunch of uh, 
it's zero loyalists a month right now, but let's wait till it let's wait till a week takes over to see what happens. Why are we not getting additional loyalists? But but more loyalists. What about now? There we go. 50k loyalists a month. Excellent. So that's about 600k a year, and that's really, really going to help. All right. Come on, soundtrack. So, our infamy at this point is 16.5. France is a republic. That's wild. So if we grab Mali, that'll be 16.2 infamy, which is going to put us over our friendly little 25 limit. Iberia is in the... No, it's still a protector. Hikuyu Uprising. Never mind. Uh, we have a couple of armies that are just... are unled. Alright. Hikuyu does not have much of an army. We'll just put the army of Australia over there in the way to deal with the situation. Actually, we're going to need another one because we got two fronts here. So, I think the next targets are going to be Dahomey, Oyo, and Benin. So, what are our. Conquer is 8.4 for Dahomey. For Oyo, it's 17.5. And for Benin, which only has one state, it is 20. So that's going to be a little bit of a process. Um, we'll probably go after uh, this little chunk of Danish Africa first. Get that done with. So once we get finished with modern nursing, I think we're going to loop back over here. Well, we're going to get 10 nationalism, and that's very good. Uh, but I want... What's the tech I wanted from society? I swear I was thinking about something. Malaria prevention. Okay, we're not even close with that, so let's, let's not worry about that for now. Finances are still doing pretty well overall. We are paying a good amount of interest, but it's not that much. I could grab chunks of the Ottoman Empire. That's always fun. Since my military situation is so excellent. Um, obviously the expansion to government admin has been somewhat expensive, but paper is still relatively affordable. And getting these institutions up is going to be so, so important. In fact, let's go ahead and increase welfare. Our current welfare payments are very, very low. We're at level four in education, so I can go ahead and queue up some more. Oh, there's not a nursing. Perfect. I'm going to quickly fix that stuff up. So... In order to get field hospitals, I need to turn off first aid. So it's tools and opium instead of fabric and liquor. That's a little odd. But it is what it is. Um, all right, so I'm just going to do this with all my armies that are not currently mobilized. And then I'll try to remember to do the ones... Oh, that was dumb. Eleventh British Army. I don't think you're supposed to be here.
Household division. That's a pretty good place for all those divisions, for all those battalions, I'd say. All right. It's good to go. Um, why are all of these trade routes still deactivated? Do I no longer have the ability to export to Japan? Okay, I think this treaty port has ceased to exist. I think this is no longer a treaty port for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that, but it is what it is. Let's build a little bit of industry here just to build up some industry in here. Um, we'll go ahead and reset production methods in House of Mound. Where's our infantry at? 14.9. So I think... Let's see. Revolt in Mahra doesn't concern us. Camp is nearly there. They're probably going to be able to win one battle before we arrive, but they might not be able to. Hey, there we go. Perfect. All right. Our success in that battle has been assured. Probably should have taken the Army of the Cape of Good Hope there instead of the Army of Can uh, Canada, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not a problem. So I think from here, hey, there's gantry cranes. Wonderful. So we've got gantry cranes, and we've got ironclads. Perfect. So I think at this point, we can go ahead and flip over to the updated production methods for our ports and our navies. So go ahead and um. So, so we only have the update for ironclads, and that has an ironclads input. So the only thing we can update is capital ships. So we got thirty-two capital ships here, twenty-seven here. This one needs a leader. Let's go with this wrathful market liberal. I lost count due to worrying about political nonsense. All right. 32 capital ships. 27, so that's 51. No, no it isn't. It's 59. Plus 23 is 82. Plus 7 is 89. Plus 6 is 95. Plus 1 is 96. Plus none is 96. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put this diplomatic in here. So I need to be outputting three ironclads times 96, which is about 300 overall. So let's go ahead and grab some military shipyards and flip them over. Uh, if I go to seal holes, that's going to output 605 ironclads. So we need to flip over about half. We'll do the ones in the West County. Holster and East Anglia. And we'll get these manners upgraded. And that's going to take them some time, but it is what it is. That should be good to go. I 
Um, America has unfortunately taken over Mexico, so they are going to get all those states. There's pan-nationalism, that's very good for us. So British colonization rights to yes. And then... I'm going to set all of these textile as craftsmen sewing so that we can have all the sewing we can ever desire. Vacuuming back for our explosive factories. I should have done that immediately to deal with the incredible amount of uh, explosives that I was producing, but I didn't. Uh, and then finally, set our munitions plants to explosive shells. I want to make them all good to go. I forgot to reset uh, production methods in Japan, but they're all reset. So, that is good to go. Wow, that was... That was... That felt like a shorter episode than it was, but I guess I was up to a lot of stuff. Can I take over Benin? Already. Well, actually, our relations are too good for me to take over Benin. Well, unfortunately, Benin, it's been nice knowing you. I would like to know you closer in the way of you being my subject. Um, yeah, we're going to take over to home. If things go sideways over here, we're going to go ahead and call it and then uh, start a new episode. If they don't, we'll just go ahead and finish out the war on Dahomey all as one episode. By go sideways, what I really mean is if someone else decides to intervene. Uh, if no one intervenes, then we'll all be good. Fine. Oh my goodness, we have new parties. Ooh. The Chartists and the Whigs broke up. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Representing his constituents in the intelligentsia, Rowland Shields has issued a formal petition to the British government to pass guaranteed liberties. <sighs> See, this is really annoying because the parties break up and I'm like, the intelligentsia are loyal. See what we can do. All right, so, but what I really want is to have a government that's just these nerds who I like. Uh, so do we want the petite bourgeoisie and the chartists, or do we want the patriotic party? Because we can only stay above, or we could fire everyone. Do these guys do anything for us in terms of what we want? Not really. This is going to make the intelligence here really salty, uh, but it will close out the petition. They shouldn't have petitioned us because they're loyal, but it is what it is. These guys have a lot of really similar politics. I think we'll just end up going with The Chartists. Right. So. Uh, petition fails. The intelligence get really mad. The duel. Robert McGill has challenged Isambard Beach to a duel to the death. The aura surrounding the two figures is like something out of a romantic knowledge. novel. Asambard Beach smiles. He's been rehearsing this moment before falling asleep. Robert McGill, you are a foolish fool. Your insults cannot go unanswered. Pick a weapon of choice and we shall meet tomorrow. This looks like a Brigadier General. This guy's a... We should stop it. To a promotion. So, you know, I'm going to accept this just to get the intelligence here. Not as mad as they were a second ago. They'll get over that eventually. It's just going to be a long time because the intelligentsia are... Again, they, they're, you're not supposed to have petitions happen like that, I don't think. That was just something that happened because a part, some parties broke up. Do you have taking loyalists right now? Fucking we don't. 
but if we buck the uh, t the chartist out, we still can. So, because that's the thing we're we're doing this all for. That's the way we're reworking our our litter city. Have we successfully? Perfect. Health system and law enforcement have gone up. Uh, we're currently working on welfare. Let's continue to bring them up. Because we've still got more capacity and we're trying to get that stuff really going. No one has gotten involved in this, which makes me pleased. Again, I'm hoping that this will partially help sort out that weird supply thing that keeps happening over here. Oh my goodness. The Dutch grabbed a bunch of territory from the French somehow. That's wild. Gandia is still in the hands of Portugal. Let's check what kind of army Dahomey has before I fight them, huh? Seven battalions? Not worried. Cool. Alright. So it's in the countdown to war, which means no one can change sides at this point. So I'm not worried about that. So we'll just leave that for next time. Friends, it's been a good episode. I've had fun. I hope you all have had fun. And I will see you all on the other side.